بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay the next thing will be getting into something called blsm variable length subtend mask like in all the previous sessions we have seen flsm where we have divided all the networks equally so equally that is your flsm so most of the time the requirement may not be the same in all the departments like uh, in vlsm what we are doing is we are doing the same thing dividing your networks into smaller sizes but may be same may not be same it may be in different sizes and this is going to minimize the wastage of the ip addresses better than flsm so practically we'll be using vlsm in most of the cases okay so which means it is far better than flsm here so how it is better let's see if you take the example of uh, four departments like the one example which we took in accounts department we have 100 users or 100 devices or 100 host and the marketing we have 60 sales we have 30 and hr let's say 25 so if you are not doing submitting without submitting so this is without submitting i can simply go and use one c class example so one c class i can use so maybe 192.168.1.0 uh, for for accounts department and for marketing 2. Dot network 3. Dot network and 4. Dot network. So each network by default in C class supports 256 addresses. Out of these 256 addresses, I'm just using only 500. Means around 150 plus addresses are not being used. Likewise here around 2 250 addresses or 200 addresses. And here there are two, 220 addresses like that wasted not used so to avoid this what we did we we did something called flsm if you remember so in flsm what we did is we divided them into equal sizes so as per this requirement what i can do is i can go and divide in flsm in flsm let's say this is my requirement so i can go and divide equally so as per the two power table this is to the power of h to the power of 9 to the power of 7 it is 128 of course i can if i can go with 64 the problem is you know i cannot go with 64 64 64 64 here right because this will not satisfy so I'm, i'll go with a higher number so as per this i'll divide a network in 128 128 128 128 like this maybe i use one c class for this because uh, maybe i use 182 168 one dot subnet for this two and maybe I'll use 192.168.2.submit for this too. Or maybe a B class example or A class example. But in FLSM, what we did, as per this requirement, we had to go with a fixed lens, fixed sizes or fixed length submit mask, where all the network will have the same size. And of course, the number of bits will be the same. And the submit mask also will be the same. Because the submit mask will tell the size of the network. Subnet mask will tell how many host bits and the host bits will tell how many, what is the actual size of the network. But again, the problem with this one is again, the same thing out of 128, I'm just using 100. And out of 128, I'm using 60. Out of 128, I'm using 30. Out of 128, I'm using 25. So you can see still there is a slight wastage, right? So what we do in the VLSM is we divide in variable sizes. So I'm going to use uh, one network and then we'll divide them in two parts. Let's say something like this. Now here, what I'm doing is I'm going to divide this network and saying that, okay, for 100 requirement, I go with a size of 128. So which means I'll allocate 128 size for accounts department. And then for 60 requirement, I'll not go with 128. Instead, I'll go with a 64 size. If you remember the two power table, two power six, 664, two power seven is 128. So I'll go with the 64, which means whatever the remaining 128 left in that, again, I will divide this into two parts and I'll allocate 64, 64 here, something like this. 64 is given, 128 is given. And I have 64 addresses available. In that 64, again, I'll divide into two parts, the remaining 60, 64. Either I can divide into two parts like 32, 32, or maybe 32 and 16, 16, or maybe, you know, again, 8, 8, 16 is further divided to 8, 8, like that. We are dividing and allocating. So 
here in submitting what we are doing is we are dividing in variable sizes which means depending upon the requirement we'll try to allocate the nearest possible size depending upon the requirement we'll allocate the nearest possible size and the same thing here and the same thing here 128 so based on the requirement the sizes may be same may not be same just like your kitchen bathroom hall bedroom if you take a normal uh, design of any any flat generally it will be in variable sizes right depending upon the requirement so the exact same thing we are doing in the vlsm also so this will uh, further minimize the wastage of the ips because the network or the subnet we divide it will be the nearest to that particular requirement 